Whether your company has multiple locations or remote or hybrid workers, getting everyone connected to the information they need is essential. VPNs or virtual private networks are great tools for making that happen securely. But with so many different types of VPN setups available, it can be tough to decide which one would work best for your company's needs. In this video, we'll walk you through these two types of VPNs, site-to-site -site and remote access VPNs. Network 101. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of VPNs, let's do a quick refresher on LAN and WAN connectivity to give us the terminology we'll need to talk about this topic. LAN. LAN, or local area networks, are a collection of devices connected in a single, small-scale physical location. For example, all of the devices in your home connected to a single router make up your home LAN. WAN A WAN is a combination of various LANs that allows users to connect devices across great distances. The Internet can be considered the world's largest WAN. Some WANs are public, while others can be private. Some businesses establish private WANs by installing personal lines to physically connect their office branches. It's not hard to see how private WANs that use physical connectivity could get costly quickly. Fortunately, there's a workaround that allows organizations to use the public internet to extend their WAN without all those added costs. VPNs How do VPNs work? Since the public internet is open to anyone, VPNs add a layer of safety through encryption. VPNs scramble online traffic into an unintelligible language, which makes it harder for outsiders to access your internal network, all while making it easier to share data and other resources among your employees through secure channels. Now that we know what VPNs are, let's compare the two main types. What is a site-to-site -site VPN? A site-to-site -site VPN is an encrypted connection between two networks. Suppose you have two separate offices with two routers. You would create a permanent VPN connection between the two sites by joining the two different LAN networks into one WAN. As the name implies, this connection is known as a site-to-site -site VPN. Types of site-to-site -site VPNs There are two types of site-to-site -site VPNs, intranet and extranet. Intranet-based Intranet-based site-to-site VPNs function as if all the devices connected to a network are in the same physical location, no matter where they are in the world. This setup is particularly useful if different branches of an organization need to work with the same digital assets. Extranet-based Extranet-based site-to-site VPNs are different from intranet-based VPNs because they only share some resources. Each site decides what resources they want to share in this setup and with who. They allow you to share some data, but keep your other client files and information concealed. What is a remote access VPN? Now that we have covered site-to-site -site VPNs, it's time to take a look at something a little different. Remote access VPNs. Remote access VPNs connect individual users to specific host networks. This connection is temporary and allows employees anywhere in the world to access files from a central hub. To make sure only authorized connections are allowed in, remote access VPNs require either NAS, network access servers, or VPN gateways for authentication. This is the same setup most consumer VPN products use. Those services provide access to numerous anonymized public gateways scattered around the world for a subscription fee. Site-to-Site -site VPN and Remote Access VPN Comparison Both setups allow employees to access the information on your LAN. Both provide remote internet connections that can connect to internal servers to retrieve and upload sensitive data securely. But let's take a look at them side by side. Use Cases Site-to-site -site VPNs combine separate office networks into a shared LAN ecosystem, while remote access VPNs connect individual users to private internal networks. Site-to-site -site VPNs must be set up on all premises. Each end device connecting to it automatically gains access to the internal network, with no additional configuration needed. But with remote access VPNs, each endpoint needs to have specific software or configurations to connect with the HQ server and have network access granted. The HQ server setup must also accept incoming VPN traffic. Data flow. With site-to-site -site VPNs, 
data move through the office's gateway and leaves fully encrypted. But Remote Access VPNs has each user create their own VPN tunnel when connecting. Data leaving devices is encrypted. Users. Site-to-site -site VPNs allow office-based employees to connect to other branch offices or headquarters, while remote access VPNs allow employees to work from home or locations other than the office. Tunneling. Site-to-site -site VPNs allow multiple users to share a single VPN tunnel, while remote access VPNs has each user create an individual VPN tunnel. So, what should you use? Remote access VPNs are the go-to solution when allowing employees the flexibility to work from anywhere. Thanks to secure logins and inbound and outbound traffic encryption, it secures the company network, and it's easy to deploy from the user's end. Site-to-Site -site VPN works best when deployed on-site, and every employee is sharing a great deal of data locally. This setup is usually best for corporations with several offices that need to connect them in one locally held server bank. However, employees can only access it by going to the office. Are you considering using a similar solution for your organization? NordLayer can help. Visit NordLayer.com